The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has been without a Senate-approved commissioner for nearly a year now. Biden's nominee is alienating to both progressives and conservatives. Church Militant's Nadia Hazimi wades into the controversy surrounding today's committee vote. Under your leadership in 2016, the FDA weakened uh, the risk evaluation and mitigation strategy on protocols. Dr. Robert Califf, a former FDA commissioner, distanced himself from his 2016 decision to weaken protocols for reporting adverse effects of the chemical abortion drug. Under Califf, only deaths resulting from the abortion drug were reported to the FDA. The organization notes only 20 women have died from the drug. Other data shows nearly 600 women have been hospitalized with life-threatening conditions. Additionally, over 2,000 events involving hemorrhaging or life-threatening bleeding due to abnormal pregnancies were recorded. So if you took this chemical abortion pills, won't end that pregnancy. You'll bleed because the pills will make you bleed. And you might think, oh, you're no longer pregnant, but that uh, pregnancy will continue. And the reason why women die from ectopic pregnancy is normally the baby like bursts out of the fallopian tube and the woman dies from internal bleeding. Pro-abort, Republicans in name only, including Senators Mitt Romney and Lisa Murkowski, are expected to vote for Califf. This is offset by some Democrats, including Bernie Sanders, who are expected to oppose Biden's nominee because of concerns about the millions of dollars Califf has received from Big Pharma. The FDA last month made mail-order abortion drugs permanently available. The lack of medical oversight is expected to adversely impact thousands of lives. The Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor and Pensions voted 13 to 8 in favor of Biden's nominee, who now faces a tougher challenge in the full Senate.